Hey guys, this is 48. This is called polynomials, and you can write down this definition of a polynomial if you want to, or I can just give you some examples and you'll kind of recognize them as you see them. The official definition is an expression in the form a times x to the n power, where a is a real number and n is either zero or a positive number. So in other words, to, to break this all down, okay, you've got a, a, a term or an expression. It can be one term, like x to the third. It could be four. It could be negative 50. It could be 18y to the 15th power or whatever. It could be 2x to the second plus nine or whatever. Uh, it just needs to have, this needs to be a real number. We, that's how we're messing with this year is real numbers. We'll, we'll deal with imaginary numbers uh, next year. A real number is just a number that's on the number line somewhere. X is just the uh, variable. This will be either a zero or a positive number. And don't forget, if this is a zero, what is, uh, in other words, what is X to the zero power? The same thing as one, right? Okay, that's a polynomial. There are certain types, and you'll, you'll just see these and recognize them. There's, there's a bunch of them, look at that. That's a real number, that's a, you know, that's an X. And is this a zero or positive? Yes, okay. This is okay if this is a negative, doesn't matter. In other words, you can go this is negative one. There's one right there. That's fine. This one, positive number or a zero. Sure, that's fine. All those are good. Uh, there's a real number here. There's a variable there. Is that a zero or a positive number? Yes. Okay, you might say, but wait, this is missing in the x to the n power. No, it isn't. It has an x to the zero power because x to the zero power is one. Negative seven times one is negative seven. So there you go. Those are all examples of polynomials. And uh, there are different types, which we'll do next. We have monomials. I'll just give you a hint. All of those, A, B, C, D, and E, they're all monomials. Binomials, you could probably guess, look like this. You could say, I don't know, we'll take that 4x squared. Here's 4x squared. Man, let's just, I don't know, let's go minus seven. That's a binomial. There are two terms. Trinomial, obviously, you could say is, you know, I don't know, 3a plus 7 minus, I don't know, 82y to the 20th power. That's a trinomial. There we go. And we'll mess with all those. Okay, well, let's take a look at the what they call degree of polynomials. A degree of polynomial basically means this. I'll give you two examples you guess. Okay, here's example one, all right? Uh, how about this? There's 2x to the third plus, you know, 9y to the 12th plus uh, 7x, okay? And here's a different one. And this one is, oh, I don't know, how about 13a to the 7th minus 42z to the 25th and plus 18, oh, I don't know, y to the uh, 16th, okay? Well, I'll tell you. The degree of this polynomial right here is 12. The degree of this polynomial right here is 25. You tell me why. Why, do, why did I name the first one the degree is 12 and the second one that degree is 25? Well, if you look at it, where do you see a 12 on the first polynomial? And by the way, that's a trinomial. Both, both of these are trinomials. Obviously, you see that above the 9y to the 12th power, right? Okay. If you look at the degree is 25, there you go. Well, the negative 42z to the 25th, that tells you. In other words, when they say degree of polynomials, all they mean is the value of the highest exponent. So that's all you'll be messing with. Okay, so just be familiar with that term. If they ask you, oh, this is a polynomial, what's the degree? Just go, eh, what's the highest exponent value? Oh, there it is, that's your degree. Okay, all right, and we're gonna add these things now. And all these are are simply like terms. That's all we do. You do, you've done like terms before. This is just another example of like terms. They'll often say, like these instructions, write the answer in descending order of the variable. Well, um, that's okay. Actually, you know what? Descending order, um, let's go descending order of the exponent. Okay, of the exponent, all right? Well, there's nothing gonna happen to any of these here. They're in parentheses, but they're, you know, you can just, we can just list them the way they are. Let's find the uh, mm -hmm. like terms. There's 1x to the third. There's 2x to the third. That'll give us 3x to the third. All right. 
This is 3x squared. That's just going to be 3x squared. There's nothing else to add that with. Those are done. Now we have a 2 and a 4. That'll just give us a 6. Okay, and there we go. That is, what kind of a py polynomial is that, you tell me, since there's three terms? Okay, trinomial. And what is the degree of that trinomial? The degree is 3, because this is the highest exponent value. Okay, all right, let's do again, and I'll make this into exponent. Okay, this, same kind of a deal. Um, we're just going to do like terms again. So there's a 4 and a 4. Let's go ahead and add this together. The, the minus will apply to every one of these terms in here. So when we write these out, we can, and you can either do it mentally or just do it, do it you know, at one swoop here. But we'll say 3x to the 4th minus 1x to the 4th is 2x to the 4th. All right? They want descending order of the exponent. Okay, so the next exponent is to the third power. Well, we have the opposite of negative 2x to the third. That gives us positive 2x to the third. Okay, so we got that taken care of now. All right? Then we have to, to the second power, and there's another one. Well, again, the negative applies to this positive 1, so it turns it into a negative 1x squared. Well, negative x squared minus 2x squared gives you negative 3x squared. So we got that one, we got that one. We only have, what we have left is just the 3, and there we go. All right, what is the degree of this polynomial? You tell me. Four, yes, okay. All right, here's another one. All right, go ahead and pause it. See if you can get this real quick, pause it. Okay, and if you notice, there's only one x to the third power. That would be three x to the third power. Okay, done. I've got x squared here and x squared here. So we have positive 2 and negative 1. That gives us just a, neg a positive x squared. Excuse me. All right. Now we have an x to the first power and another x to the first power. We have a negative 1, if you want to call it that, minus a negative, which means the opposite of a negative is positive 7. So we have a 7 here, and we have a negative 1. And that will give us uh, 6x to the first power, and that takes care of both of these right here. Okay. We have a positive 4, and we have the opposite of a negative 5, which means another positive 5. And that means it's going to be a 9, and there we go. There's our polynomial, and the degree of the polynomial is, again, 3. All right, there's your exponent. Okay, all right, try, go ahead and pause it. Try uh, the problems here, uh, A and B. Real quick, on A, look at that negative. It applies to everything inside that first set of parentheses, so don't let that trick you. Okay, all right, pause it. Okay, let's try a, and this is a humdinger here. So we got a negative 3x to the fifth, and we got a positive 1x to the fifth. So negative 3 and positive 1 will give us negative 2, and that's going to be x to the fifth. So oops, those are gone. Okay, let's go for our fourths next, 4 and 4. So 6x to the fourth minus 1x to the fourth will give us positive 5x to the fourth, oops, and oops. Okay, there's our cubed, and that's it. No other cubed. But I have goofed. <laughs> I goofed here. I forgot the negative applies to the, to the 6 here. So I'll have a negative 1x to the 4th and a negative 6 to the 4th. That will give me a negative 7. I could hear a lot of screaming out there. You know, it's negative 7. Okay. I got you. So negative 7 x to the fourth. Okay, let's move to the x to the third. So that's it. There is nothing there. So the opposite of negative 7 x to the third will be positive 7 x to the third. All right, we'll hold off on this, on this 5 for a second. Um, there's an x squared and there's an x to the first power. So nothing else matches. So that's a positive. So we got our positive 3 x squared there. Oop. And a positive, you know, adding a negative is the same thing as subtracting, so that's negative 2x. There we go. And we have a positive, we're going to subtract the 8, and the opposite of negative 5 will give us 5. So now we have a 5, we have a minus 8, that will give us negative 3. And that is our ugly looking polynomial here. Okay. You tell me the degree of this polynomial. 5. It's 5. I was trying to hold up 5 fingers. I could only.
Okay. All right, pause it and do B. Okay, well, let's take a look at B. I've got a 1x to the fourth, and I have a negative 15x to the fourth. Well, 1 minus 15 is negative 14x to the fourth. Okay, so those are gone. Okay, so I have x squared, I have the x to the third. Yes, there's an x to the third. So the opposite of 2x to the third is negative 2x to the third. So that's gone. All right, now I'm going to look at my x squared. So there's a positive 3x squared. There's a one right here. Now don't forget, the opposite of negative 6x squared will be positive 6x squared, plus 3x squared is 9x squared. Gone and gone, okay? So I got what? Negative 6x, and I got the opposite of 5x. That'll give us a negative 5x. So negative 6 minus 5, negative 11, x, and then I have a 2, and then I have the opposite of a negative 3 which will give me a positive 3 and a positive 2, and that will give me a 5. Okay. Alrighty, and that is adding those polynomials together. Y'all, good day.